is Alex Stein, and today I will be speaking to you about depression. Depression itself is often described as a feeling of extreme sadness or misery, but clinical depression isn't merely unhappiness. It's a serious mood disorder that affects about 20% of people at some point in their lives. Depression can cause feelings of sadness, anger, loss, and frustration. It often lasts for weeks, and sometimes even longer. Some people even have to deal with depression on and off for their entire lives. It interferes with people's everyday lives and causes them to have emotions that sometimes even they don't understand. Why am I so concerned about depression? Well, for me, it's a very personal issue. A close friend of mine recently told me that a few years ago, they had struggled with depression. Hearing in detail what this kind of struggle is like, I was shocked. In our high school, we hear a lot about dealing with depression, teen suicide prevention, and other topics of the like. But to learn about what it's like firsthand from someone you care about is terrifying. Knowing that they might not even be here today if they hadn't gotten better is almost surreal. And it's not just a few people either. While an approximate one-fifth of people go through a period of depression in their lives, some scientists think that approximately 50% of all cases of depression go completely undiagnosed. That means that anyone that I know, anyone in the world could have gone through this and not even have known what was wrong. Depression can be brought on by a variety of things. Alcohol and drug abuse can cause it to occur. Certain medical conditions and medications, such as steroids, can increase your risk as well. Another common trigger are stressful events in a person's life, which can range anywhere from failing in class, to the death of a loved one, to even something from their past, like abuse or neglect during childhood. It's also believed by some that genetics play a role as well. Many researchers believe that, in fact, genes are linked to depression. This means that some people might have a genetic predisposition to it. This means that their genetics may cause them to be more susceptible to depression later in life. Many scientists who study the topic believe that many genes are related to depression, not just one. This often leads to incongruent data between studies. Though this is an issue, scientists are learning more about the link between the two all the time. Some scientists say that this research in the future could lead to better medication for depression. Depression side effects often go far beyond being miserable. It can also cause irritability and frustration, even of the smallest of problems. It also changes your sleeping patterns. It can often lead to insomnia or excessive sleeping. Changes in appetite are a problem, too. Some people have an increased appetite and gain weight, while others lose their appetite and lose weight. Nervous habits caused by stress, such as hand wringing, pacing, or an inability to sit still, can be brought on by depression as well. In some people, it causes irritability and angry outbursts. In others, it can cause slowed thinking, movement, or even talking. A common symptom is a fixation on past failures. Sometimes people blame themselves for every little thing that doesn't go right, even when it's not their fault. It can also cause problems with concentration, remembering, and just thinking in general. In the most extreme of cases, frequent thoughts of death, dying, or suicide are prevalent. It can also cause emotional or physical problems, too, such as crying for no apparent reason, having headaches or back pain. Symptoms also vary between children, teens, and older adults, too. Depression can overrun a person's daily life. It makes them more likely to use illegal substances and alcohol and can cause physical problems as well. In the worst of cases, it also causes thoughts of suicide. It changes the way you think, act, and even talk around others. Basically, it changes who you are from the inside out. Luckily, though, treatment and support are readily available. Scientists make advances every day in medication and treatment. Just recently, scientists discovered a link between the certain brain protein and depression and hope it can lead to medical advances in the future. Support groups and therapists are available almost anywhere. And if not, you can find plenty on the Internet. The National Suicide Prevention Line is available 24-7, seven days a week, and they'll help anyone who calls. I personally hope that one day we'll lower the statistics, decrease the number of people with depression, and prevent suicide. Thank you for your time, and have a lovely day.